the way on the way like to you, you know, some kind of cleaner. Just like the geezer, you know, we call to clean up the seal thing, make it clean. So that'll clean the seal face? Yep. Okay. Clean, clean both seal thing. And what type of cleaner is that? Do the same thing, the solder. Yeah. So, and we, we on we have the very clean oil, you know, on the, the can like it. We dip on the sulfate in there and make a lubricate the sulfate before we install it in the shell. So, we do on the sulfate in there. Okay, the upper seal. Okay. Yesterday. Is that the oiling? Oh, oh. Yeah, in there. <laughs> 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 That's Whit Kelly, over 40 years at Han Equipment. The best seller. <laughs> okay, and uh, hold on, let's just see. You see a little hole right here? On this pump, they have to go with the little hole on the seal holder right here to go in there. So, you see the little hole? Mm -hmm. and the little hole right here. Okay. Okay. So, the holes have to be lined up? They have to be lined up in there. Okay. Okay. For the, uh, for the little ball and the spring go in there to hold the seal in place. Right here. Okay. okay. And this one goes in there. All right. So, the ball goes? Right on the hole. Right on the hole. And that looks like a spring. Yeah. Make sure it's tight fit and everything okay. spins smoothly. All right, that means we already complete, you know, installing the upper seal. Okay. So right now we uh, go ahead to install the oil housing first before we install the lower seal. Okay, upper right. seal complete, installation, working on the oil housing. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. On lip pumps, you know, uh, you know, they have only one way to go. So you will see like this in the same, just like the square triangle, it is the same right here. It should okay. be no just right here. So the square triangle portion would line up with the square triangle, triangle portion. Right here, yes. Okay. Okay. The little rubber thing right here, they call the wheel protector, you know, to, to cover the seal, so we go inside. Okay. Yeah, that's the one inserted the o-ring inside the seal so you see the seal they have a little lip right here you know on right there it should be go right in the hole right there so that's why when he put in there you will you will hear the click you know, so the lip the there, you'll put it in and yeah, hear the click. There. Okay. 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 They have only three bolts, you know, to hold everything one piece right here, one bolt, two. So three, three bolts. bolts. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The 
so out here he can use the MPEG for a little bit, not mm -hmm. too much. So he can use the MPEG for 10 millimeter. Okay. I like both. Okay, uh, so now you know the same with the upper seal, you know, we clean up the seal face first, and mm -hmm. then we, uh, we install the other face, you know, on the top of it. Okay. So we're cleaning the upper seal face. Okay, and we clean up the other face. Cleaned up the other face. Yeah, and the O-ring, you see the little... Put a little right grease here. on the O-ring yeah, and insert it. on there. Okay. What was that tool he used to align that over? The little pick, you know, to you can buy anywhere on the uh, like seal, you know, Ranger. Sears, okay, yeah. Granger, gotcha. Yeah. For the uh, pick, the only easy. Oil. What kind of oil is that? Oh, that's the oil we use, you know, for the chrome right here. That's the oil we use for the chrome right there. Yeah, okay. Just, uh, you know. Standard weight oil? Standard weight oil. But just take oil. oil. So. You know, make sure, you know, the little right here falls right on the keyway. Have another clip to hold the, you know, lower seal. So this is a clip to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. All right. We had a pie, you know, to on the. Uh, yeah, we had a pie to go over the. With the shaft, you know, to uh, to, to pushing the uh, okay, yeah, your rubber hammer, you hit a little bit, they go in the piece of pipe over the shaft and a yeah. rubber hammer, yeah, get a little bit, just a little bit, yeah. okay, that's it, that's see, they go in there, and we want to make sure the, the clip is in, in there, so we use the uh, screwdriver, make sure it turn, so that means it's in there, okay, that's it. Lower seal, you know, installing complete. And you know, the next step, you know, we do the pressure test. Pressure on the test. Pump. Okay. Yeah, to make sure seal is good. Okay. So the per fly, we had a seven pound psi of air, you know, inside the oil chamber. Okay. And we only do ten. You know, so for, flight says seven psi. We use ten. Yeah, we use ten psi. You know, this kind of pump. Okay. Don't use too much. You know, like fifteen, twenty, because sometimes they blew up the seal. So we use ten. And uh, he probably had two holes for oil, so he closed one hole and another hole. He put a, the fitting for the pressure test in there. So one oil hole was closed with a bolt, and the other one is a fitting for the pressure test. Yes. Okay. So we put in there for the second one. Okay.
Yeah, a lot of bricks. So that, you know, we built for the, uh, had a gate. So we built this? Yes, we built that. So some tube, yeah, see, to the some gauge. clamps, and a gauge. Mm -hmm. And that okay. gauge can be purchased at a auto parts store, maybe yeah, Ranger. Yeah, auto parts store, Ranger, you know, everywhere. Mm -hmm. So they have on get a 15 pound, but we will put on a 10 pound. Uh, 10 PSI. 10 PSI. Okay, 10 PSI, okay. and then we put it there about five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, they lick right here. They put it on a zip tie in there. Okay, I'm gonna pause.